When I got in the paper business, I was so fascinated with all the different kinds of papers that it was almost a sensual experience for me. And so I'm going to take this approach, a sensual one, on Chrome Code. Are you ready? Here we go. So here, here's the first one. But when you take a look at Chrome Code, it's a very glossy sheet. And I think this is C1S. It is. It's coded one side. It's available in a regular offset grade, digital, and indigo. Comes in uh, digital sizes. It's nice. And then, let's see, 2S. But if you print on something, this thing smells good. It looks good. You can hear it. It sounds like the flash of money. This stuff makes money for everybody, for paper salesmen and for printers. Okay. So, uh, if, you, if you ever need to order Chrome code, just use the term Fireside, since we're having a Fireside chat. Uh, that will give you 10% off the product. You will never find that in print. You have to watch these videos to get these little magic terms. Then, when you get to uh, the unique products in this line, you've got a brushed brushed silver and that this smells shiny you know what shiny smells like then we get into like the 13 point uh, the brushed silver and just imagine if you put some silver aluminum foil in your mouth and sometimes it gets your your uh, your old fillings and it makes your teeth go crazy well I'm not sure if this does that I'm not really going to try it Brushed gold foil, same difference, uh, nice product, available in um, folio sizes, 40 by 26. None of this is, when you get into these, these products, it's really, they're not really cheap, but they sure can make money for you if you know, if it's available and you offer it to your customer who's looking for something new. This is called Rainbow Foil. and. Imagine this on a business card or on a brochure that you're recommending to somebody. This is it. just kind of like if you get it in a light, it changes colors. And then there's another one that's a prism or a pillars foil. And this has all different kinds of looks to it. And uh, it's available in 13-point cover. And then when you get into the... Uh, other end of the product line, which is gold, which used to look like the currency cover, silver, which used to look, look, look like the currency cover, and then look at this, black. Sometimes I get phone calls from people and they're desperately looking for a black cover. We don't, we don't have it, I'm sorry. Well, now we do. We've got a black, glossy, chrome coat cover. It's 12 point. It's awesome. And then check this out. You taste this. It's sort of... It should taste like cinnamon, I think, shouldn't it? Or it should smell that way anyway. Yeah, you can even kind of hear the heat coming off of it. You know, it's, it's a very sensual product. So, oh, I forgot to tell you. There's also a C1S label. So if you ever want to make a beer label for somebody in your town. You can print on this. They, they can apply it to a bottle and you know, like a craft beer, local craft beer. So it's a very shiny label. So we sell all of this through this company. And this is a company again. It's uh, Chrome Coat. On the inside of this it tells you all the different sizes that these sheets are available in. It also tells you on the well, it doesn't tell you there, but it, it, it also tells you in here what the recommend, recommended printing processes are for it. Because some of them, if you're going to do some foil stamping or others, you would need to be aware of that. For offset and or digital, it's okay. But if you get into some other heavy solids, you need to read the directions. Thank you for watching. Um, my goal from, from, for this year is to be somewhat useful. 
Um, I'm going to make sales calls on you that people aren't making on you now. I'm going to offer you ideas on how to print on different products and um, it'll be, it's really my goal. I used to do this all the time as a paper salesman for another company and two other companies and, and uh, I'm going to keep doing it. I've got 5,000 of you out there that there's no way I could ever go see you in Spokane or in Tulsa or Miami or Albany or Bangor. There's no way I can ever go see all of you. But I can make a sales call on you. And that's the idea behind this whole thing. Here you go. Hasta la vista, baby.